Shall we have a drink? Yes, that's a good idea. I have a packet of Milo. Why don't we have a drink? Oh, why is the water so hot? Hmm, the water boiler knew how to turn off when the water is hot. Let's investigate further. Yes. I just can't find the information we needed. Bingo, I found it. Really? Yes. It's actually because the kettle consists of a disc of two different metals bonded tightly together, one of which expands faster than the other as the temperature rises. When the hot water reaches the boiling point, the thermostat snaps open and pushes a lever that trips the circuit, cutting off the electric current and it safely switches off the kettle. This is an electrical kettle. I want to find out why the electrical kettle suddenly stops working. Maybe I can help. I have a thermometer to measure the temperature of the water. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Look, the thermometer reading says that the water is at 28 degrees Celsius. Let's begin the experiment. Oh my God, it's 100 degrees Celsius. It exactly stopped after the water had reached its boiling point. Yes, indeed. This is a bent night now paper clip. Now I'm going to put this in hot water. See, it has changed back to its original shape. Hi. Ah, hi. You have been watching this experiment for the whole time, right? Yes. Well, do you know the explanation? Yeah. Okay, then go on and explain. When you heat up the paper clip, it changes back to its original shape. This gives it its other name, memory metal. Wow. But why are memory metals important to us? Nitinol changes in its environment. Nitinol and some other metal mixtures have the ability to change their shape. Thus, this gives room for inventions such as the electrical kettle, which turns off when the water in it is too hot. Oh, I see. 